Hello everyone. So today in this video we are going to see service in Android. I am Professor Dattatre Gandmal from Computer Science and Engineering Department, Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. So what we are going to see in this video? So after watching this video, students will be able to explain and identify different types of service and write code to create service in Android. They will be able to write code and they, are, they will be able to understand uh, what are different types of service. First of all, we will like to introduce what is service. Service is an application component that can perform long running operations in the background and it does not provide a user interface. What is the meaning of it? So service is mostly used for running long jobs. If I suppose I want to download a, a big file, so that can be put it into a service. Suppose uh, a file is very big and if I make it as an activity, what will happen? That particular file will be downloaded only when a UI is visible. Okay, but what is the drawback with such kind of uh, uh, practice is that you have to always keep your UI open. So it doesn't allow you to download if a UI is not in an active mode. Therefore, service helps us in such situations. Exa there are a lot of examples like you are downloading a file from a Gmail, you are playing some music or you want to download a music file or video file. So you know that it will take hell a lot of time to download such files, right? So to avoid such UI interface and to make it active even in the background is what service helps us to do, okay? Then it can be started by any other application or a component. So services can be started anytime uh, while you are active with your activity part. So when you are uh, using your activity at that particular point of time, you can uh, start your service any point of time, right? Uh, it can still be running even if the application is killed. Uh, this is one of the important feature. Uh, application, even if you kill an application, you can see that some files are getting downloaded in the background. You can see an arrow mark on your uh, mobile phone, which is uh, still in download process, right? So if you want to kill a downloading file, then you have to go and kill that downloading file itself. That means when you kill the downloading file, it means you're killing the service. So service killing requires an ex explicitly it has to be done on that particular download option, not in an activity. So even if you uh, if your app is not working or if you have ended your activity still the download process will be in the uh, working state until and unless you kill it okay then android dot app dot service is a subclass of context wrapper so how you will work i will create the object of service this particular service is present in inside context wrapper class so a uh, context wrapper class is the root class for this particular service. This is a, a important part to understand and uh, keep this particular thing in your mind. Now what are the different types of service? There are mostly three important types of service, foreground, background and bound service. What is the uh, example of foreground? Foreground is nothing but when an activity is running at that particular of point of time, if a service is running, that is a foreground uh, application. Example, an audio app. You, when you are listening to a music, you see like Ghana.com, any other uh, audio application when you are running, that music is getting played. When your music is getting played, that means what? A service is running. Which type of service? Audio service. That song, song particular song is audible to you because it is getting downloaded somewhere right it is taking some kind of uh, your uh, uh, bandwidth right internet it is taking your uh, plan it is consuming that means what it is running it is downloading your listening to music means what it is getting downloaded in foreground what is the meaning of background if an app used to service to compact its storage that would like if you're downloading a file from gmail or you're downloading a particular music file there is a download option sometimes in a, when you're listening to a music so that particular download options will work in background why we always try to put service in background is so that it will not disturb the running applications i want to do surfing internet i want to do uh, play games and still background in background some file get gets downloaded that is possible only with help of background service is that clear? Then third type is bound service. 
inbound service uh, is mostly applicable in client server communication so if a particular client wants to communicate with a server it will first of all send a bound service or it want to bind so when it sends a bind request to server server sees that okay i have enough space now i can provide service to this particular client if it is it can provide then it will say okay accepted your request is accepted and then communication will take place with inter process communication ipc okay and uh, bind service will uh, be in the running state so this is all about services uh, this is a example uh, definition of service and this is the various important types of services now uh, next important thing is how to start a service now we have seen uh, what is service and what are different types of service now we have to see what uh, how to start that particular service so there are two ways to start a service one is uh, start service or you can bind a service these are two major uh, functions used so a service is started when an application component such as activity starts it by calling start service so if i want to start a service i will call this method start service by calling this start service method you will be uh, able to start a particular service now what how you will do with bind service bound uh, bound is nothing but you want a client want to connect to a server when a client want to connect to a server it will send a request called as bind services it will call this particular method bind service when it calls a bind service uh, the server will accept it and if it is available it will accept and process it so this is how two ways to uh, start a service one is start service and another is bind service it is very easy you have to remember only these two things start service or bind service now uh, again service is having a life cycle it is having its own life cycle there are two one is unbounded service and another is bounded service unbounded service is nothing but this one started service mm -hmm. using start service you can do with unbounded service another is bound service in bound service is second one this side the second one is a bounded service and this is unbounded service what is the difference in uh, bounded service and unbounded service in unbounded service there is no client server type of request here only it will request for some downloading file it will download a particular file and here it is a client server communication type here you can see that on create there is on start command immediately our service is requested it will uh, call a method called as on start command and inside it service will be in running state until and unless i kill it if i kill it it will be on destroy and it will terminate this is simple unbounded service whereas in bounded service what it will do on create and on bind it has to send a bind request that is the difference between unbounded and uh, bounded here it will send a bound uh, requ bind request and clients are bounded to a sir particular service that is it will connect to a server and once the request is accepted clients are in running state and after completing client after completing its task it has to call unbind it has to unbind if a client doesn't do that after a periodic amount of time server will do it server will call on unbind and uh, it will destroy a particular client so this is how resources are allocated from uh, server side and uh, they are uh, deallocated this is about bounded and unbounded from this particular uh, picture it will be it should be very clear the difference between unbounded and bounded uh so there is a small question for you people what are the two ways to start a service we have just now see uh, we just now seen this uh, what are two ways to start a service just recall it and try to answer this you can pause here and answer it yes you can pause it and start uh, give the answer so there are two uh, types one is start service another is bind service these two methods are used uh, to start a service now creating a custom service how do you create a custom service these are this is a simple uh, snapshot uh, to understand uh, a pseudo this is a pseudo code i have given uh, for your understanding how is a service method written so here you can see that uh, uh, make tag and here service is destroyed this is service destroyed part okay and here is make text there is service started part so on create the service will be started and on destroy when on destroy will be called here in the diagram you might have seen uh, here uh, just on destroy so this on destroy service should be destroyed so here on destroy service will be destroyed 
So this is the code. You can uh, note down this code. You can pause and note down this particular code and use it. Okay. Uh, then declaring service in manifest. So uh, again in manifest file, android manifest file, you have to add this service, this particular line. Service android name my service. So you have to add it explicitly in, in manifest file. We have seen manifest file earlier. So in manifest file, we will add this my service. Until and unless you add it, service won't start. It is just explicitly naming that, okay, I'm going to work with services. Start and stop service. You can have two buttons and in on one button, I'm doing this. On one button, I'm starting a service. On another button, I am stopping a service. So start service, intent, you have to pass an intent. We have seen intent in the previous lecture, uh, previous video that intents are used to uh, communication purpose and transfer data, right? So here start service intent, it will start a service and stop service, it will destroy, it will call a destroy method. So this is how a GUI will look like start service and stop service, okay? I think it should be very clear. You, you can write this start service code uh, here on button click and the stop service here again on that button click, okay? These are some of the references uh, which I have referred. You can go through it for more details. Okay. Thank you.